Rodriguez to run the wrong side of the bench. Hereby call this special meeting of the City Council to order. Will you please stand and join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag, the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Councilors. Mr. Clerk, item number one. Item number one, call of the meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Item two, officer's return of notice. Accepted and placed on file. Matters to be acted upon this evening under the special meeting agenda are the city council approval and adoption of the fiscal year 2023 budget order for appropriations as presented or amended. Council, if anyone has any amendments, please stand and I will call on you. Councilor Farwell. Thank you, Mr. President. Before I offer a few cuts very quickly, I have great respect for the integrity and the competence of all of our department heads. I think there was a lack of attention to detail this year. There were some department heads that came in and said, well, I'm not really sure about that. Well, I can't really explain that. The other thing that really bothered me is when, when we get this book, which is a lot of reading, and, and by the way, I mentioned this to uh, Mr. Clark before the meeting. It is my belief and it is my hope that this is a genuine, accurate presentation of where we think money needs to be allocated for each department and for specific purposes. And I was really concerned when we had one or more people say, well, we don't really use it for that, we use it for this. A budget is not if you'll excuse the expression, a slush fund. It is a blueprint for where we want to go in the next fiscal year. And I am not happy with some of the components of this blueprint. And I did mention to Mr. Claxon, again, that he, he and his staff are extraordinary, but Brockton needs to improve the process in a lot of different areas. And I think that is our challenge as we go forward after July 1st. This, this budget process, how department heads prepare, how well prepared they are, has got to change. Because I don't want to go through this again when someone says, well, no, we don't use it for that, we use it for this. So having said all that, I'm going to start off by proposing, and Councilor Tavares and I are co-sponsoring this one, page 234, DPW Water. I'll give you time to page on page 234 on the DPW water which is the enterprise account you will see property related services 123039 you will see contractor emergency repairs $93,350 same as last year and you will see consultants $293,866 and I am proposing that all three of those be cut for a total of $510,255. And let me add to my colleagues, I have no problem if someone comes back to us with details on where additional funds are needed. If this has cut out something that is legitimately needed, documented, and a presentation is made to us. But I, I do not feel I can in good conscience leave that amount of money, $510,255 in the DPW Water Enterprise account where I'm just not sure and I can't defend that expenditure. So I'd like to present this to the clerk. Is there a second? There's a second? Second. Second. Uh, All right. Hold on, we get it. We'll get it in. Hold on to the vote. One second, counselors. Councilor Thompson, on the motion? Okay, yes, on the motion. I, I'm just... Councilors. I just want to, oh, sorry, I just want a, a, a clarification. Um, you, you named three different line items and one number. Uh, can we just clarify exactly how much, uh, what are the three specific line items again? How much from each line item? Certainly, Councillor, thank you. Uh, two thirds or three quarters of the way down the page, property related services, whatever that is, 123039. I see that. Uh, second one is contractor. But, so what's the specific cut from that one? Is that? With the, the entire amount, 123039. Oh, the entire amount, okay. Yep. 
The next one is contractor emergency repairs, which is $93,350. It's the same amount as last year. Um, and I, again, not to belabor the point, they can come back and ask for that if, it, if, if it's important. And the next one is consultants, $293,866. So the full, the full amount of all three line items? Yes, the full amount of all three line items. Just on, on the, the on the motion, um, counselor. No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the mic. No wonder. No wonder we didn't speak all night long. Uh, but but the uh, as far as I understand, we're not cutting. We can't cut individual uh, line items. We Correct. Can we can cut cut from the uh, the 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 main the main uh, or the title. So but none is, but those, your wish is, is that at least it's it's put out here for people to know where that came from, right? Yes, uh, through the chair back to you. That is correct. We we do not have the power to eliminate a particular line item, but the net effect of this will be, if this stands, we have saved that much money to the taxpayers in that amount. With the caveat, they can come back. They being DPW can come back if if money is needed. But, Councilor, you are correct. The cut is from the purchase of services, and that, yep. and that it's not those three specific lines. The cut equals those three specific lines, but the cut is from purchase of services, the, the entire block. Understood. All right, Councilors, we're all set. Okay. All in favor. Uh, Shannon, are you good? Or uh, yeah. Okay. So, all in favor of the proposed cut. All right, all opposed, the cut is passed. Councilor Farwell. Uh, Mr. President, I have another one from public property. That is on page 347. I'll hold for a minute while we go to 347. I am not going to spend a lot of time on this. I think enough was said the other night about the Rock Stadium, about the amount of revenue coming back. Uh, but I am proposing, and it's found under Stadium Purchase of Services, even though the amount would come from the broad general category Purchase of Services, $200,000. That would leave, uh, if I'm reading this right, $53,100 from that particular line item the actual total would, would change. But that is the genesis of what I'm trying to do, and, uh, and that is the amount. Though, again, it's not, we don't have the authority to change that line item, but we do have the authority to remove the money and stop the bleeding of money into that stadium. Second. The motion has been properly made and seconded. All in favor. All opposed, the motion passes. Yes. Councillor Tavares. Hello. Um, actually, I am going to do some cut on page 224 on wastewater uh, infiltration surcharge. Uh, basically, the reason I'm doing so was not well presented, and uh, I'm, I was confused and I really understand it. And the question was now clear uh, when the big answer. And uh, I'm just want to cut all things, all the numbers. 224. Uh, total. Wastewater filtration here. For, yes, page uh, 224. Thank you, ma'am. For uh, 465.802. So again, councilors, just so you know, that's from purchase of services is the overall. The cut is from purchase of services. Yeah, purchase service, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Was there a second? Was there a second? I second, second. that. Motion properly made and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? Thank you. Motion passes. Councillor Tavares, you have another one? Yes, I have another one. Uh, 
saw it. I think, just give me a second. I go back a second one. All right, on the page 296, um, I want to do some, uh, some $10,000 uh, good and actually good and supplies. I uh, just want to make some cut, like $10,000. 296? Yes, 296. Good and supplies. Second. Sorry, where is it? What, from what line? I mean, from what category? Okay. Mayor's office, goods and supplies, $10,000. 296. Page 296. Good and supplies. Yeah. $10,000. Uh, good and supplies, actually, yeah. There's a second? Second, yeah. Yes. Motion has been properly made and seconded. On the motion. On the motion, Councillor D'Agostino. Through the chair, Councillor Tavares. Oh, yeah. Mark, stand up. Mark, yes, oh, stand sorry. Up. Um, I, I just, maybe I didn't hear you. Are you trying to, you're cutting $10,000 from this item? Yes, uh, out of like 63824. Uh, um, I just want to cut like $10,000. Uh, basically, it's going to be like, you know, 5380. Which of the sub items is it that you're, I know that's not how we cut it, but, uh, but <clears throat> what is the, the goal? What you're... I just like you know want to make you. I think like it really kind of again is very like you know understand it and uh, I think like the numbers kind of little high. Again, if they do need it, they can come back again and ask. They just is, is there not a particular sub item no. that you were okay? All right, just the overall. Just because the number sixty three, like I said, I was okay. confused and I will. Coffee machine supplies. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I just wanted to make sure I right. understood. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. All right, councillors, the motion's been properly made and seconded. All those in favor? All those opposed? The motion passes. <clears throat> councillors, Councillor Farwell. Someone may have something else, but under uh, DPW Water, page 234, I have one last one, which uh, Councillor Tavares and I are co-sponsoring. Let me go to 234. Yeah. Councillors, you'll notice on that page, uh, under personal services other than overtime or non-OT, you will notice a line item separation costs. Last year, or I should say this year, it was $76,800. Miraculously, next year is projected to be $176,000. Through the chair, what page are we on? I'm sorry. 234. 234. Thank you. 234. Thank you. Uh, Obviously, we owe people separation costs under collective bargaining agreements. Show me a list. Show me where the money's going. Show me for what purpose. I have no problem if the mayor submits a supplemental appropriation to this account uh, for separation costs. But absent that information, who's retiring, when they're retiring, how much we owe in unused vacation, sick time, I, I'm not willing to throw that money in there because if it's not used, it can be used anywhere else under personal services, non-OT. And I'm just looking for a level of detail. Tonight, that's my main objective, is give me a level of detail, send a message, that's what we want as a council. Thank you. What was uh, the dollar amount? I'm sorry? What was the dollar amount? Oh, uh, an even $100,000. I thought you were taking it off. Second. It's coming out of, and I'm sorry, it's coming out of uh, personal services, uh, Mr. Clerk, personal, personal services, services other than overtime. Non-OT. Non -OT. 
Very uh, was properly made in. Second to Council Rodriguez on the motion. No, no, no. I okay. thought we were done with that one. Yep. All in favor? All opposed? Motion, fa uh, motion passes. <coughs> Councillor Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, uh, in line with what Council Farwell just said in terms of uh, clarity and a level of detail, um, I want to voice my my thoughts and ideas as well with these cuts that we're making. Again, it's not supposed to be designed to punish any of the departments, but to basically bring some clarity and understanding to the folks that are that watch us on a regular basis to know that everything that we do in this city is on the table and for their ratification in a sense. So keeping that in mind, I too would like to offer uh, a cut, and this is to the Department of Planning and Economic Development. Um, again, not to be a punishing of anything, but I want to be able to take um, uh, $25,000 from their consultant budget uh, and, and 150 thousand dollars from the downtown diff uh, because with all due respect to all the folks that work in this building uh, there's some of us that that feel that there's not a great deal of at least clarity when it comes to dealing with a lot of these funds that are dished out from this building um, again not against not against anything that's being done but at the same time just so that we, we can be clear about this therefore I'm submitting uh, for us to take out of the uh, planning and economic development, an amount of $175,000 from the purchase and uh, purchase of services, uh, reducing that uh, budget line item from $389,000 to $89,800 mm -hmm. to $214,800, again, deducting $175,000 from that item. Second. Motion's been properly made and seconded. All those in favor? All those opposed? Okay. Motion passes. <coughs> <coughs> Councilor D'Agostino. Um, again, keeping with the theme of greater clarity, um, in the Board of Health, page 158, I am proposing a cut to personal services, non-overtime, um, of $143,692. Um, the current budget uh, request for that item is $1,231,480. One this would leave $1,087,688, I mean 788, I'm sorry, um, in that item. My reasoning. They're looking for us to fund a chief health officer. You were all here. I asked for details on that position. Uh, none were available. I understand that we're trying to modernize our Board of Health to a Department of Health and Human Services, and I do support doing that. What I would like to see, just like a lot of these other cuts proposed, is details. What is the overall plan? What is this new position going to do? What is this new structure going to look like? And we didn't get that. Um, and so I'm not comfortable, and I, I hope that you all will agree, I'm not comfortable funding a brand new position of, of almost $144,000 of taxpayer money to a department that also, all of their inspectors are about to be shipped off to the building department too. So we're restructuring this department, and I'm going to support that when the time comes. But I want to see details. I want to see a plan. I want to have an understanding of what we're asking the taxpayers to pay for and fund. And that is the spirit in which I am um, proposing this cut. All right. Motion's been properly made and seconded. All those, I'll let you get back to your desk. Thank you. All those in favor? <clears throat> All those opposed? The motion passes. <clears throat> Councilor Mendez. Yes. Um, so it's on page 278. And it's the um, law department under purchase of services. I'm proposing a cut of $100,000 
Ian, uh, that is uh, after conversations with our city solicitor, the fact that we hired more attorneys, we gave them a raise, they're doing a lot more work in-house, so that could go to cut back on the consultants and the legal, uh, outside legal. So instead of the $446,000 in $895,000, i am cutting back 100000 from the um, purchase of service. Thank you, Councillor. There a second? Second. second. Motion has been properly made and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? <coughs> Motion passes. Because of Any other counselors? Counselors, we're going to take a brief recess to total this up. Oh, we have one more. Texera. Thank you, President. <clears throat> My cut will be on the mayor's budget, page 296 on purchase and service. It's 599, $599,795. So I'm going to do an $80,000 cut from purchase and service. Second. Motion has been properly made and seconded. Wait, wait. Um, I'm sorry, what was the... Yeah, hold on. The, uh, the department and the page number, Councilor? Sorry. 296. 296. 296. 296. Mayor's office. Mayor's office. How much? $80,000. From purchase and service? Purchase and service. Purchase and service. Okay. Goods and supplies. Councillor Farwell, just uh, on the through, motion? through you, yes, on the motion, through you, Mr. President, to my colleague, uh, did you have a particular subcategory under personal services that you were focusing on? I, uh, or I guess a better way to ask this is, will we still be able to pay the people who work in the mayor's office if this goes through? And that might be a Mr. Claxon question. I, I, I don't know. Well, but it's not purchase, staff. Yeah, it's purchase, not service. Service. Not purchase of services. I'm sorry. Purchase of I thought it was service. I thought it was personal services. No, purchase. No, purchase my, of my, service. my apologies. It's late. It's 10 o'clock. Um, you know, <laughs> it's my hearing week. is going yeah, at this hour. <laughs> just to rem just <laughs> my everything post. is going at just this hour. Just a reminder, <laughs> the, the line item that you have in mind may not be where the department head <laughs> makes That's their correct. cut. Yeah. Just so you understand that. Mm-hmm. Councillor Texera, would you like to expound on your uh, on your proposed cut? Yes, it's on the purchase of service and consultant. Okay. Uh, on the motion, I, I just want, what was the amount Consultant. of the cut? 80,000. 80, Thank you. Is there a second? Yep, second. Yes. Motion has been properly made and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? Motion passes. <clears throat> Anyone else? All right, counselors, now we are going to take a brief recess uh, for the clerk and our legal counsel to uh, tally this up. Are we talking to cable? So make First sure that recess they, is over. The button. W sewer department account by five hundred fifty thousand dollars, and I'm taking that from purchase of service. How much again, counsel? Five hundred fifty thousand dollars. Five hundred fifty thousand. Through the chair, what page? On the, mo Go ahead. On, the on the motion. On the motion, Councillor Rodriguez. Can you tell us what line item at least that is coming from? Um, I'm just reducing the overall total by five hundred fifty thousand dollars. From our sewer. Uh, um, Councilor Mendez. Council, that's all you're doing with any of these votes. What page are you on? Uh, I understand that, Mr. Clerk, but at least to give us a sense I'm that we're not. page 224 and 225. Okay. I think the will of the council needs to be kind of expressed as we did, knowing that it's coming out of a particular category, but at least the will so that you know what it's coming, what your intentions are. Because okay. it shouldn't be the, the very bottom of uh, okay. the motive, Councilor. I'm focused on property-related services other and other contract services. Okay. Is 
second. Okay. okay. Thank you. Motion has been properly made and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? The motion passes. Thank you. Councillors, speak now or forever hold your peace. Any more cuts? Did you sign it? All right. We're going to take a real recess this time. We are back. Councillors. Yeah, Councillors, questions on adoption of uh, adopting the order, which was originally five hundred fifteen million seven hundred ninety-seven dollars, seven hundred ninety-seven thousand and forty-one dollars, reduced by two million three hundred thirty-four thousand seven hundred forty-nine dollars, to a new amount of five hundred thirteen million four hundred sixty-two thousand two hundred ninety-two dollars. Councillors, the uh, question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please. Mr. President. Councillor Azak. I'd like to uh, request a uh, reverse roll call. Oh, vote. stop being a wuss. Is there a second? <laughs> second. 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 It doesn't require a vote. Oh, it doesn't I'll start. require a vote, so we're, we're in. I'll, All right, vote, Madam, I'll vote first. We reverse. Yeah. <laughs> we reverse. We reverse the councillor. It's over. Uh, reverse roll call vote. Madam Clerk. Thompson. Yes. Texera. Yes. Tavares. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Nicastro. Yes. Minicello. Yes. Mendez. Yes. Lally. Yes. Farwell. Yeah. Diagostino. Yes. Azak. And yes. That's 11 in the affirmative. Mr. President, I move reconsideration in the hope it does not prevail. Second. Motion for reconsideration has been properly made and seconded. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed. Reconsideration fails. The budget is adopted. Thank you, councillors. Item, item number four. Ordered that the city of Brockton appropriates the amount of $16 million to pay costs of designing, reconstructing, and rehabilitating the city's sewer system, including but not limited to cleaning, cleaning inspecting, and relining sewer lines and mains, yeah. manhole rehabilitation, bypass pumping, and all other costs incidental and related thereto. To meet this appropriation, the city treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under general laws, chapter 44, section 8-4, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes of the city therefore. Further ordered that the city treasurer is authorized to file an application with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Municipal Finance Oversight Board to qualify under Mass General Laws, chapter 44A, any and all bonds or notes of the city authorized by this vote and to provide such information and execute such documents as the Municipal Finance Oversight Board of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts may require. B vote was favorable, postponed from the City Council meeting on May 23, 2022. Question is on passing to a third reading. Councilors, the question is on passage to a third reading. Councilor Azak. Is this a roll call vote or just a hand this vote? A hand this is a hand vote, vote. Oh, okay. just to pass to a third reading. I'd like to move for a reverse hand vote. Uh, hey. <laughs> left, left hands Why only. Why not? Yeah, left <laughs> hands only. <laughs> All in favor of passage to a third reading by a reverse hand vote. I'll use my left. All opposed. <laughs> the motion passes. Item six. Order that the City of Brockton appropriates the amount of $34,800,000 to pay costs of designing, constructing, equipping, and furnishing an advanced water reclamation facility necessary for the efficient disposal of biosolids, which project will include, but not be limited to, demolition of the existing incinerator, installation of new sludge thermal dryers, sludge conveyance equipment, and all other ancillary systems, and any other related repairs and upgrades to the AWRF and including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto. To meet this appropriation, the city treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 7-1, Section 8-14, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes of the city therefore. Further ordered that the city treasurer is authorized to file an application with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Municipal Finance Oversight Board to qualify under Mass General Laws Chapter 44A, any and all bonds or notes of the city authorized by this vote, and to provide such information and execute such documents as the Municipal Finance Oversight Board of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts may require. Postponed from the City Council meeting May 23rd, 2022. Questions on passing to a third reading. Councilor Nicastro. 
Mr. President, at this time, I move to table this order. Second. Second. Motion has been properly made and seconded to table this matter. All in favor of tabling. All opposed? The matter is tabled. Thank you. That is the end of our agenda. Um, we do have a little bit of council's recognition, so I will take this time to uh, thank the finance department, the auditor's office, the clerk's office, our legal counsel, uh, and all of you for uh, you know participating in, in this budget and, and putting together the budget, combing through it as diligently as you all did. Um, I really appreciate your efforts and bearing with us. And so as to get out of here before 11 for once this week, 